songs for, for so many years. And, uh, you know, I felt bad for him after looking at him in my little cardboard box in my bedroom for so many years um, to finally uncuff them and to give them that freedom. And, and uh, there's a tremendous amount of liberation in that for me. And I've never, you know, I've never... Uh, you know, gone off in this avenue before, so it's, it's special. It's a, it's, it may not be monumental for the you know rock and roll community and for everybody else, but it certainly is monumental for me. You took your time, baby. I think that every every record that I've done in the past is, has had a different energy. And when you go in the studio, the last thing you want to do is, is go in there and make a, a record that sucks. But through my producers and the, and the incredible talent of all the musicians that I had on this record, um, you know, we weren't looking to change the face of rock and roll. We were just looking to make a, a, a very simple rock record, songs that again were, that I had a personal relationship with. Anybody who knows anything about my career knows that I don't like to stay in one spot for very long. From Caius, Slowburn, Unita, Hermano, The Crystal Method, Denko Jones, Orange Goblin, Arsenal, Mad City Rocky, Rockers, uh, uh, Monkey 3. It's all about being explorative and being exploratory. That's what keeps it fresh, is that void. And that void needs to be filled some way, somehow, somewhere it needs to be filled. And I fill it with music through the help of, you know, my inspiration, which is, you know, my family, my wife and my kids. Um, and they really allow me to, to, to be here, to talk to you.